Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to show you um, a lot of people with bootloaders have trouble where it's too, like it's got a lot of colour on it so it's too big of a file and even when you compress it it doesn't get to a small enough size for you to use it as a bootloader so for example I'm going to show you one so uh, I'm so just going bread snow here I'm just going to browse this So I'm just going to show you exactly that. I, I'm just, I've got an image already and it's like a Windows 7 star one with a silver background. And um, so I'll just show you that it is too big and then I'll show you that it works in a minute. So obviously if you're doing it and you're already joking, you're already clearing, but this is just a boot logo help. So I'm just going to my boot logos. As you can see, I've got this one here that I want to use. Uh, this Windows.png. And then it says it is... 201,000 bytes, but it has to be 102,400 bytes or less. So try reducing its complexity. Now, with this, um, it's about about 50, maybe no more than 50,000 K is about 100,000 bytes. That's what you're aiming for. Which is a pretty small, well, really small file. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel out that. And I'm going to show you what I do. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to have um, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, which will you can get the trial of this in the description um, on the website www.adobe.com. So that all that will be there'll be more info in the description. So just check that out. Alright, so then I'm going to open up that image, the one which was too small, which is the PNG file, not the G JPEG, the PNG. So all I'm going to do is bring it into here. Now the quality will go down very slightly, but not much. So what you can do is you're just going to get your image in here. Now it works with this image, but if you've got one with loads and loads of colours, you're probably going to have to get rid of quite a lot of the uh, quality but yeah this kind of image is good for, for it so once you're in a, a, um, Photoshop you're going to just open up your image as I showed you there so just control I will just click file and open browse your image and open it up now don't forget the image has to be um, 320 pixels by 480 that so uh, its width is 32480 and that so make sure they're right and then you're going to go file and then on here you're going to save for web and devices alright so once you click this you're going to get this window that pops up now for this image um, basically you just want to set come here and it'll open up and you want to make sure over here that should be unnamed you want to make sure this one's PNG 8. Now it tells you the size down here. And as you can see that is 42k. So already this is going to be fine. But if you really have a big one, as you can see it goes a bit, the colours, there's not as many colours. That's why this is going down a bit, the main Windows icon. But the size is going down a lot. So if you put that to two colours, which obviously no one's going to want, that's going to go to 10. But for this image, 256 works brilliantly, and on my device, it looks really good quality. So you're going to make sure. So this differ as well will probably be about 88, which I can't. There you go. It'll probably be about. I change this, and if you see the image, it changes. Oh, I just pulled the one percent, and you can see the streaks on it, but the size goes down. But this doesn't change much, so I keep size at 100. And then, all you can do is once you've got this and you've got it, oh, just mess about really. If you go to PNG24 though, it will drastically double. The quality will improve a lot, but it will drastically double the um, memory, the size of the file. 
the image. So now once you've got it below 50k, down here as you can see here, and you're just going to go ahead and click save. So you're going to pick where to save it. I've already done one, but just because I don't want, I, I'm just going to create a new file quickly. Let's create one, then I'll just put test. And I'll put it in here for you guys, and I'll, I'll call it just so you can see. Uh, as you can see, it's a PNG, and I'll just call it test image for boot. So I'm just going to save that. Now that's saved, I'm going to go ahead and run red snow. So when when you double click, you can have to browse your deal with it. Right, do all this first. Um, custom, uh, custom recovery as well. Say so anyway. Put that there. I'm going to go on custom boot logo. And I'm going to go ahead and go on my libraries, my pictures. And as you see, I've got test there. And here's the image. So it says test image for boot dot png. Double click. And there you go, it's it's ready to go. So I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to show you anymore. But if I click next, it hasn't stopped me in any way. It's just time me to do all it. And then you will have your boot logo done. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope this has helped a lot of people with the. Because uh, compressing can be a bit difficult. As it doesn't always compress to the right size. But that way you can control it and get it as low as possible. But it does sacrifice quality, so do remember that. Alright guys, so thanks for watching.